Hello everyone, this is Animation 4, welcome back to some more FTB Infinity Evolved. Um, so, the tree farm is working out just fantastically. fan diddlyastically. Um, it's... the barrels are getting full. Half a barrel full of charcoal, almost an entire barrel full of just oak logs. And it, it's just wonderful, it's just working so good. I got three furnace generators on it and a survival generator produces pretty much enough power to keep it running at a reasonable speed also if you didn't notice i got a horse yes th this is my horse i have a name tag but i don't have an anvil because i've been lazy but look at those stats 0 0.3182 0 0.7 those it's just incredible it's it's an incredible horse yes so fast look at this look at this look at this speed i i got the um the saddle from a villager, you know, way back over here in that first village. I actually went over there because I needed some emeralds, and I got a I got a saddle. Uh, so, what I've been doing since last time? There's a big story to tell. So I wanted to make a new pickaxe, right? Because I wanted to do some strip mining, and I was looking through the materials. So let's 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 reenact the scene, shall I? Pickaxe. Okay, we got, okay, it's 0.75, I have cobalt. Uh, okay, 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 holy cow. Mining speed of 23, I want. Actually, I think I just stared at it for a few seconds. Uh, it, it takes endurium, though, which requires endurium. What? Are you kidding me? That didn't simplify my process, but that's a whole lot easier. Okay, ignore, ignoring that for right now. I'll, I'll remember that for later. Wait, does that work? Eh, I guess that does. Um, I want an Enderium. So what does it take to get Enderium? Well, I could use uh, Enderium ingots, wherever they are. Enderium ingot, ingot, where are you, ingot? Right here. Um... Induction smelter, nah, alloy smelter, I'll do an alloy smelter. It takes an endurium base, which takes two tin, a silver, and a shiny ingot. This is, this was the trouble point right here. A shiny ingot can be gotten from shiny ore, which is incredibly rare. I have yet to find any. I'm not even sure if it generates, because looking at how you get it, there's no generation bar. So it might not generate at all. So, to get the shiny, let's see, um, I could get shiny dust if I use a pulverizer, right? Yeah, 10%, that's not bad. I've pulverized over 20 ferrous, I didn't get a single shiny metal. Yeah. So I basically concluded that that doesn't happen. So what I did instead is found a 100% chance, where are, why am I looking at nickel ore? Look at this, look at this. I found a 100% chance right here. Guaranteed. I need cinnabar. Okay, I pulverized some redstone. I pulverized like 20 redstone too. I didn't get any cinnabar. Like, I don't know what's wrong with my I even upgraded my pulverizer. <laughs> my pulverizer is now as a secondary sieve. 11% secondary. It's... I didn't get any. So I also concluded that you don't get, you don't get cinnabar no more. So I need a way to get some cinnabar, so I can get shiny ingots, so I can get enderium. I finally figured out fluid transpose with jelly cryothium and cinnabar ore. It was the only way I could get cinnabar. I now have some enderium. And a incredibly powerful pickaxe. Uh, so now what I have to do, I can mine with this. And it does have full charge. I made a um, an energetic infuser to charge it. But it only has 400k RF, which is not that much. And the durability is actually down by two. I, actually, I accidentally mined a few blocks with it. It's kind of funny. The durability will forever be lower. Um, but I, I want, like, more portable energy. So I'm going to do a few quick crafting recipes right here. We're going to go here. And I'm going to go like this. Hardened. I'm going to go like this. These things are so incredibly inexpensive. I'm surprised they didn't get more expensive. We now have a resident flux capacitor, which holds 20 million RF.
<laughs> well, that went fast. Uh, technically, I should eventually... It should eventually fill up, but it's not going to get anywhere close. It's about 1 40th of the way full. But it's, it's power now. It is better than um, Mossy because it repairs faster. And yeah, so that should be good. And I'm all set to do some nice mining. It does instantly mine stone, by the way. So it is awesome. Yeah, that's that. Okay, so it's been quite a while since I last recorded. I actually had to check up on what I last showed you. Uh, but I've been doing quite a bit of work. Uh, here is that fancy pick. Still, I got the resonant flux capacitor. It's now charged up to 7.6 million RF. And I've just been taking it down here whenever, every now and again and just having this entire thing pump into it real quick. Gives it a few hundred thousand. Enough to keep it going and stuff. So that is now powering my pickaxe and my new, uh, my new crossbow, the crossbow 2.0. Uh, this is actually made out of a signalum crossbow, a fiery bowstring, a paper tough binding because paper binds everything together so well. And a signal on body, you, you, you get a you get a draw speed of 0.25 seconds and an arrow speed of 12.6. Signal is ridiculously good for crossbows. Look at this: 0.15 draw speed, seven arrow speed. That's for both of them. It's just amazing. So that also has flux on it, and I think put fortune on it. Uh, a lapis. I also put beheading. So if we ever need to get some uh, wither skulls, we need to behead stuff with this. I actually haven't put all the lapis on it because I, I don't have enough lapis. I, I ran out. I have eight left. But eventually this thing will be full looting and I'll put some more modifiers on it. We'll get full beheading. And I'll just be able to go kick some of the skeleton butt and take some of the skulls and get some nether stars. So, other things. As you can see, this farm right here actually has stuff growing in it. This is industrial hemp. So I've been working on immersive engineering a little bit, seeing what the butterfly, seeing what that mod's all about, um, and I start off with some industrial hemp. And if you actually go way back up to the top here, oh yeah, I got I got some stuff here. Way up to the top, you see there's a cable running up the whole thing. Way right at the top, I have two windmills. Um, hello. Yeah, so these are improved windmills. They took like four stacks of the fiber that comes from that hemp each. And it's also like a block of steel each. It was, it was pretty pretty expensive, but nothing I couldn't handle. So these windmills are going into kinetic dynamos. These weren't bad either. There's just a bunch of electrum. And I have some medium voltage wire connectors on those, which then connect up and just go all the way down. All the way down. All the way down. All the way down to these, where apparently they're full now. Each of these holds um, a million RF. So yeah, that's, that's a lot of power. Relatively speaking, these are really inexpensive compared to uh, everything else. Because if you look at it, uh, capacitor, the medium voltage capacitor can hold 1 million RF, and it is literally 6 ingots and a block of redstone. Whereas um, the hardened energy cell oh, hard is, uh, holds 2 million, but it takes electronic circuits. Uh, Leads to energy cells, bronze electron tubes, invar. This takes another circuit. Uh, it's just a pain in the butt to make. Just make like two of these and you're good. Uh, so yeah. Also these uh, connectors and wires are so much less expensive. It can also look pretty cool. Like I've, I haven't played with this mod yet, but I've seen some of the stuff you could do with it. So I spelled that wrong. Uh, you could get like uh, posts that hold up these wires and there's some cool other ways of generating this water wheels uh, it, it's just really cool stuff I'd like to get into a little bit more but that's not the focus right now what is the focus is that someone has stolen all the marble from those hills it's kind of a bummer because I kind of need marble look see I'm like planning stuff out and I need a bunch of marble yet someone's stolen it and kindly put it all in this chest uh, yeah so I spent like an hour just mining marble got almost 50 stacks of the stuff and that's actually enough for the bottom half of the sphere so i've been trying to figure out exactly how i want this to look uh play with a few designs i kind of like this one uh, mainly because of the color difference this is still marble but it's project red marble it is kind of brownish uh but this is kind of grayish 
Like, I, don't, I don't like how gray this is. I feel like it's marble. It's, it's nice bright white. Like, look at this. Look at the difference. So much of it's there. Uh, so yeah, I'm still trying to figure out how exactly this is going to work. So this is going to be the main layer. It's at y equals 66. This side's 50, 64. That's 68. So it's like right in the middle. And I can make the, I have enough marble to make the entire shell of the bottom. And then once that's done, I'll work on a floor. I actually probably won't make the entire shell at once. I'll probably make like uh, six layers of the thing and then put a floor on it. And then I can start moving stuff over here. Because this is going to be my main base. Uh, it's going to have branches that go off to separate areas. And each of those areas is actually going to have, like I said, different functions for mods. Like we have the forestry area over there. And I kind of have narrowed down to what it's going to do. I don't want to like have to go over there whenever I have to use a forestry machine. I want to have forestry machines here. Uh, the purpose of stuff like over there, that's forestry. Forestry is like tree and leaf breed, tree and bee breeding and that kind of thing. So it's going to be lots of alviaries and lots of stuff for just to do some really easy tree breeding because that like takes a lot of space. Uh, if you think of industrial craft, there's a lot of industrial craft machines. I don't want to have to go whenever I need an industrial craft machine. It's going to be industrial craft machines here. At the industrial craft place, there's going to be nuclear reactors and large industrial craft machines for mass producing items like rows of pulver rows of macerators for macerating large quantities at once whenever I need that, not whenever I need to pulverize two pieces of coal to make a recipe. Yeah, so I've never it down. Most things are just going to be mass production, but there are some... Oh, thank you. Whenever I'm recording, right? Uh, there are going to be some that are other things. Like, there's going to be robots in the Buildcraft one. Uh, what else was an important one? I know, I, ha I have this all written down somewhere. Exactly what everything's going to do. But this is going to be my main base. Uh, it's going to be some nice storage and stuff. So I still got to figure out what I want to do with the outside. And once the outside's done, I'm going to actually carve out a little bit. Like, maybe three blocks out to make the whole thing seem like it's floating. And so you can actually see the outside. Uh, so yeah, this is my current plan with all this marble um i might actually like these bricks i don't know they're kind of ugly but they match really well but i feel like in larger quantities not gonna look so good uh so if you have any other thoughts about what should go here preferably using marble uh so that, let me know because i um, i need i need some ideas uh, yeah, so that's all the stuff over here. Let's go back over here and do something. Hi. The cat wants to give me a fish. But he's stuck underground. Oh, he's whacking me with the fish. He's whacking me with this. He's trying to kill me with the fish. No, stop it. Stop. Don't kill me with the fish. Ooh. Hmm. Not quite sure what's going on over there. Okay, so I'm here in a creative world doing some testing and I wanted to figure out a good way of making industrial craft power because they, they are still two different things. There's industrial craft power and there's uh, RF power, which is used in most things, but industrial craft still uses industrial craft power for lots of stuff. So I need a way to make it. So we have wind power for we're using immersive engineering to get some RF power. Let's use some more wind power. Uh, this is industrial craft wind power. Um, it's a kinetic wind generator and a kinetic generator. Uh, you need both of them. This just turns. This actually makes power from the turning. Uh, it's up. It actually it actually filled up. Okay, I'm just gonna drop one of these on just to see the rate. Uh, so it actually does get pretty good rates. It's kind of has some randomness to it. Uh, it can get up to like 72. EU per tick, this is the lowest it's been so far. Um, but yeah, it's kinetic wind generator. It's not, the kinetic generator itself, a bit annoying, lots of iron, but nothing incredibly difficult. This takes just some iron, some copper. Uh, the kinetic wind generator, really, really easy. The only real tough part is this uh, rotor. So there are four different types of rotors. There's a wood, there's an iron, there's a steel, and there's a carbon. And each one has a, has a minimum wind requirement, and you can make a wind meter to figure out the current wind. Right now we're at 31. It uh, looks like it's it's pretty steady right now. So yeah, see right now we're getting 77. Jeez. Um, so these all have uh, wind ranges they can operate in. Um, so this carbon one's obviously the best one. 
It lasts for seven IRL days, 168 hours, something like that, in game. So it it can pretty much last for until you need to until you can mass produce them. But it does take a lot of coal. I think 288 coal to make this thing entirely. Yeah. So these are compressed carbon plates. Basically, we need 32 raw carbon mesh. Each one is eight coal. So we got some coal mining to do, but I have to do iron mining anyway, so that's fine. So basically, just one of these pretty much, and have some kind of storage, and I'm pretty much good for Nusticraft power until I can start mass producing. Yeah, so let, let's, I'm going to go do some, some mining stuff and see what happens. Alrighty then, there are all three pieces, I believe. Yeah, the kinetic wind generator, the kinetic generator, and the kinetic gearbox rotor carbon. Nice raw carbon motor. This is actually going to be going on this base. Uh, I'm going to start moving things over here. I've also been playing around with the design a tiny bit. I think I'm going to actually use cobblestone as well. Uh, because with the cobblestone here, it actually makes the marble look brighter. Uh, yeah. So if you use the cobblestone as like the trimming, the main box could be the marble. Not, not the marble bricks. I don't like. How, I was just testing out the marble bricks. Some, some, some other form of marble. Uh, but yeah, that could be pretty cool. And this is going to be the main floor. There's gonna be machines underneath. We have. We're gonna have lots of room. And I'm gonna start working on this before next episode, uh, which is gonna be relatively soon compared to now because it's the end of this one. Uh, yeah. Awesome ending there. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, <laughs> nope, wrong button. So that's going to be it for this episode. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you, me and my hat will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.